High risk, high reward. No risk, no reward. And let me tell you something. You cannot get high reward without high risk. And so my whole thing is I approach everything in life and business with what's the reward I want, and that's going to determine how far I'm willing to take it. So, like, my story is um, my parents had a healthcare company. My mother was an a, um, academic. She was super smart, loved giving people health care, and ended up an entrepreneur in healthcare in Detroit and had a booming business through the 90s. Um, at the time, I was going to Florida a &M University. She was literally killing it. Uh, her company was doing $50 million a year in revenue back in the 90s, which was a crazy amount of money, particularly being black and living in the city of Detroit. Uh, we did live in the biggest house in the city, right on the golf course, uh, but we were in the city, though. And, um, but then after I got back from college, my parents lost it all. Everything. Just like an old gangster movie. We lost the house. We lost the cars. We had a Jaguar. We had a bunch of Mercedes. We had a limousine parked in front of our house. Not a new limousine like a, a Lincoln Town car or Uber Black. No. Nah. We had a real limo, eight passengers, super stretched in front of our house, but we lost that too. My mother had a 12 karat diamond ring, it was just magnificent, museum quality. She had to sell that at the pawn shop. All of her watches, my stepfather, everything he had as well. The fur coats, all the fancy things you get in life when you're making money, we lost everything. And on top of it, which was even worse, is uh, reputation. You know, they were dogged out in the media, um, uh, you know, portrayed as doing things potentially uh, improper. And um, so we literally lost everything, right? The material things, we lost reputation. But I took it upon myself to figure out how to get it all back and go further. And um, I decided to start my own company. This was 2004. And I took the highest risk imaginable. You know, high risk. It's like you just go with the world, balls out, all balls out, right? Balls to the wall, taking every risk, does not matter what it is, go as far as possible, do whatever you have to do to get to the money, and doing the hard work too. Um, you know, I got money the hard way. I'm not talented, you know, can never sing, can barely dance, if at all. Never was into acting or fashion or anything that would be a talent, right? You know, most black folks either, you know, usually black folks successful are in entertainment. Um, but that just wasn't the household I grew up in, and I didn't have those talents. So I had to get money the hard way, right? What I mean by that is when you get money as an entrepreneur, you're competing with everybody, right? If you're an athlete, and let's say you're just faster than everybody else, quicker, can jump higher, quicker reaction time, stronger, whatever the case may be, and we see them all the time. Superstar athletes. Allen Iverson, my generation, superstar athlete. Um, right now, the cheetah, right? The guy who plays for Kansas City. Super athlete. But there's only one in a billion of those people, so they end up getting all the attention, um, and therefore, money follows, and, and they deserve it. But when you're an entrepreneur like myself, you compete with everybody. Right? Short, tall, skinny, fat, across every ethnic group. You know, right now, business is international, so you compete with some guy somewhere in Taiwan trying to get to the same money that you're trying to get to. And so, in order to get it, you gotta go further than that guy in Taiwan would go. And that's what I did. You know, I took on a ton of risks, uh, but then I did the hard work. And if you do those things, you will get the fruits of your labor.